going to be checking out some of the Bitcoin music NFTs that have been released on the blockchain and what it means to music NFTs. So let's get started. Hey everyone, this is Barry from Music Tech Info. Hope you're doing well. So I've become a bit obsessed with Bitcoin NFTs recently and they're known as ordinals. And the technology for me is quite paramount because there's not many Ethereum projects that are actually properly minted on the Ethereum blockchain. There's a couple of handful of projects that are. They're worth a ton of money, as you can imagine. But the general consensus is that an NFT on the blockchain is just, say, the transaction number, but then a link to a server which actually holds all of that media data, whether that's a JPEG image, whether that's a music NFT audio file. So if that server ever went down, God forbid, then that would have a huge impact on your NFTs because you wouldn't be able to see them anymore. It wouldn't be able to reach that media. The Bitcoin blockchain, however, has, has really been expanded to include NFTs via the name of ordinals. And it's a very different concept. They're kind of all one of ones. They are very limited in size. I did a video recently about Bitcoin music NFTs and how to do that on a second layer, but I'm talking about the, the main Bitcoin blockchain as it is on the actual blocks of Bitcoin that isn't currency. So Satoshis are basically the smallest amount of Bitcoin that there is, and these ordinals are being inscribed or kind of stamped with that NFT as an ordin ordinal. So it's very interesting. So the majority, it's, it's a bit like graffiti. There's a hell of a lot of different images popping up and different projects, which is very exciting. And there's various marketplaces. Magic Eden is probably one of the best ones that you can actually go on. So let me just quickly show you Magic Eden. And what you need to do once it loads up, first of all, is you need to actually click on this Bitcoin here so that you only see the Bitcoin collections. Now, the only downside of Magic Eden is, is really it's catered for collections. It's not really catered for individual NFTs, such as music NFTs. But it gives you a general idea. For example, we've got Bitcoin Apes here, which is the legitimate um, Bored Apes Yacht Club, same NFTs, but they've actually been minted on the Bitcoin. And for me, a Bitcoin Ape is really interesting because it's actually on the blockchain you know these pictures these jpegs are actually on the blockchain and they're selling out quite fast because as you can imagine they were became extremely expensive to buy on ethereum and this is kind of another door of entry to actually obtain the official uh, bitcoin apes which is really cool and there's a couple of other projects going on here as well but not really anything catered towards music generally you know it's, it's these little characters, isn't it? That's that's really the main consensus. So if you want to generalize on what's out there for Bitcoin collections, then I'd suggest you go to Magic Eden. There's also Gamma as well that you can check out. But I have a Hyro wallet, which basically means that I can go to ordinals.hyro.so and you can do this as well. And then what you're able to do, this is a tiny bit like OpenSea in that you can actually filter. So... I am able to filter by audio to only see what audio ordinals have been minted so far, of which there are about 313 as of today. And they range from a fart that sold for, I think, $220,000. A two, in fact, I've got it here because I downloaded the clip. Here we are. So this is 29 kilobytes, which is extremely small. I think the limit at the moment is like 80 kilobytes. I'll play again. Yeah, $220,000, just crazy. Quite interestingly though, what I did is I did have a look at the metadata and it's from an author called Fartoshi, <laughs> which I thought was great. He's on Twitter if you wanna check him out. So that was like the most famous audio ordinal to you know sell for a lot of money on bitcoin obviously a lot of people have joined joined the bandwagon and there's a huge range the problem is because the file uh, sorry the blocks on the bitcoin blockchain are very uh, small in terms of memory you can't really put if you put like a whole track on there it's not going to be very good quality so let's have a listen to this one skip a bit 
Can you tell this? It's a very low bit rate of an MP3, which is fine. So what I did is I actually minted my own snippet of my latest single, The Cyber Monday, that's currently out, called Why Do You Do This To Me? And you can check out that track on Spotify, all of those tracks. But here's a little clip of a three second clip that's actually minted on the Bitcoin blockchain. Yeah, so you can tell that the quality of that is a lot better, but that's because it's only three seconds long. So I am debating whether to put up like a 30 second demo in the future or something. Um, just to kind of get a, a general idea and, and to be able to put like a full demo song on, on the blockchain, which is quite cool. Which other people are trying to do? I mean, let's have a couple of random clicks and see what we've got. Okay, that's cool. And when it's ordinals, you actually have to pay up front to mint on the blockchain. So there's quite a considerable cost involved. It cost me about £20 to actually mint that um, three second clip on the blockchain. It took me about, took about three hours to process. And that's mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can sort by oldest first as well. So the very first audio ordinal on Bitcoin blockchain was this one, which is three minutes long. And this is a bit, well, I'll, I'll let you decide what you think. There are some who for Bitcoin have nothing but hate, who refuse to engage in an honest debate. You may call them no coiners or cantillionaires. To abuse and enrage them, you simply declare, have fun. Okay, you get the idea. So that's a three minute track. So that was the first audio ordinal to be produced. That was block number 73. I mean, that is so low compared to where we are currently. And things are moving very quick on this Bitcoin blockchain. Let's have a listen to this one. 2 minutes 36. That's really cool. The only thing I don't know how to access is whether they're actually available on the marketplaces for you to actually purchase. This is just browsing what's on the blockchain, literally, to find out what's been minted. Like if I go to newest first, you can see now we're on, gosh, 671,075. It's quite frightening, really, how, how many people are you know, wanting to inscribe their media on Bitcoin. Okay, almost sounded generated. There's something about Bitcoin in, in that, you know, everybody's always said it's slow, it, it's kind of like old technology, but for me, Bitcoin is like number one. When you talk to somebody about currency, cryptocurrency, they'll generally say Bitcoin. <laughs> me again. I honestly didn't know. So yeah, I think it's great that you've got music NFTs or ordinals on this blockchain. It's just revolutionary. I mean, this has literally just happened this year, you know, and where's it going to go from here? I find it fascinating. As fascinating as this. Stella, a bo. It's just like graffiti. I find it fascinating. Obviously, other people have put text on here, which doesn't make any sense to me in terms of what they mean. A lot of it's generally code. Somebody has tried to put on a, a Doom version on the Bitcoin blockchain as well, which I thought was quite funny. Obviously, I'm not covering the videos aspects of audio ordinals, but there are video ordinals as well. And again, they're very small in size in terms of quality, um, but they can include audio as well. So that's something to bear in mind if you're interested as a potential buyer. You know, this is like, we've always said how early we are in this, in this space for like Ethereum, but where we are for Bitcoin, it really feels like in its infancy. But there's, there's a charm about having the Bitcoin blockchain as, as being slow and as being low in memory and file size, because that means you think back at like the first Mario game, uh, Super Mario Brothers, how they had to get everything 
fitted onto that tiny little memory on that cartridge to put in the Nintendo Entertainment System. I forget what it was, was it 64 kilobytes was it or something? That would that would fit on a Bitcoin block. So we say it's not very large. If you're clever about it, then there's there's always ways around it. Um, and you can see this is like a collection that somebody's been inscribing, which we'd like to think of as, as minting as well. So yeah, let me know what you think if you're intrigued in the Bitcoin ordinals stuff. I'm I'm finding it quite interesting. And I always appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're interested in videos such as this. I'm also covering AI as well if you want to check other videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.